In this video, I will be talking about natal moon and Sagittarius in the 12th house and what this placement means for you if you have it in your chart. And with that being said, what the moon represents in astrology is it represents a personal or private aspect to our personalities that is not immediately apparent and that people only get to know or see when they get to know us on an emotional level because the moon shows our emotional tendencies. And it's an aspect of ourselves that people only see when they get to understand our emotional tendencies. So um, also the moon is having to do with the fourth house and the sign cancer because it rules those. And that's all having to do with our family and our upbringing and also our sense of comfort, security um, and the things that we, we're used to. It's all about familiarity, kind of like family, same starting uh, letters. But um, also moon shows emotional needs. So when the moon is in Sagittarius, which is all about beliefs, conviction and sense of direction, it's also about our connection to God and to the universe or to some sort of higher philosophy, uh, higher truth or um, principles or philosophy. This shows an individual that has an emotional need for something to believe in or they need to feel a sense of direction in order to feel emotionally well or to feel like themselves or to feel um, good because these are highly inspired individuals and when they go through periods in their life where their faith is stripped from them through obstacles and challenges that is when they experience the most turbulence or um, you know feelings of feeling down because they're very attached or rooted onto their beliefs and their convictions. So moments where those things get taken away from them can be, you know, transformational moments or like um, painful. So um, generally speaking as well, they show somebody that is philosophically oriented in some way. And they have certain convictions or opinions. And they like, like they are very adamant about truth and morality or their convictions um, and this is an aspect of yourself that people start to see when they know you on a personal level they realize that you have a lot of faith or like certain convictions or like that you're quite open-minded as well because in this case the moon is in the 12th house the 12th house is about all things and it's about all possibilities and it's the house of spirituality so this is a very powerful placement that shows somebody that has a lot of highly spiritual convictions. They're also intuitively gifted and connected to the universe naturally and to, you know, a higher power or to like their relationship to God or the universe in some way. Um, the 12th house is also about being open minded when it's in a combination with Sagittarius. And both the twelfth house and the sign Sagittarius were at one point at one point ruled by Jupiter. Jupiter is all about benevolence, beliefs, spirituality, and knowledge and expansion. So this is a very powerful spiritual placement um, in terms of its meanings, because it shows you know somebody that is quite open minded, and in terms of the moon being about emotional needs and the twelfth house being about all possibilities and it's about you know potential and it's about uh possi possibility basically and when it's in sagittarius which is about expansion this shows somebody that has an emotional need they hold on let me rephrase or restart that sentence um they need the potential to expand in their life so they need freedom in a certain sense and they need to be inspired and to feel like there are more limits to explore they don't like to be put in a mental box or into mental limitations because 12th house in Sagittarius is about non-limits. It's about the dissolution of limits. So also Sagittarius is about experiences. And when the moon is in Sagittarius, it shows somebody that has this need to experience things for themselves and learn for themselves. They don't like to be guided by somebody else or told what to do. And they felt most nurtured in life when they had somebody that would guide them, but from a non-controlling perspective. And somebody that would just offer words of wisdom and allow them to experience things for themselves. So they needed that type of a father figure as well, because Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter, which shows the relationship to our father in a certain aspect. Um, 
as well as Saturn can show that and the sun because those are all the masculine planets but um it depends on which astrologer that you ask or go to i feel like all of them can be um insightful so generally speaking though um outside of the nurturing style that they have the next thing is that the 12th house is about sensitivity so people with the moon in sagittarius and the 12th house they're very sensitive to experiences that they have and they're often making philosophical connections in their mind based on experiences because the 12th house moon is a very powerful placement for the moon because it's in the ninth house from its own house which is the fourth house and the ninth house is all about abund abundance expansion uh, and revelations of truth and it's all about philosophy as well so people that have the moon in 12th house in Sagittarius they're often making philosophical connections out of nowhere in their mind and these are things that they couldn't have thought of logically and it's like they just get intuitive downloads or they just learn intuitive knowledge and it, it's often things that give them more creativity or help them with you know their direction in life or their ambitions or their career or their success as well like they'll get these really creative ideas or inspirations um especially from a philosophical standpoint or like a knowledge standpoint so um in other words you know these are people that learn which is you know the the topic of sagittarius serendipitously which is the 12th house so let me put that together one more time these people learn serendipitously so they just get realizations a lot of times they're very wise um because the 12th house is the final house in the sign in the zodiac and or in the natal chart and it rules pisces which is the final sign in the zodiac it's the oldest sign it's about compassion wisdom and you know high knowledge in a certain sense or like high wisdom especially it's about all things all possibilities and it's about creativity so anyway um like i was saying what i'm trying to say is that these people are going to be naturally very wise that's just what i see immediately when i see this placement um and they just get a lot of realizations a lot of times this can have come from past life experiences that just come back to them through the form of a realization or through a form of some sort of knowledge um now the next thing about this placement is that since the moon is about emotions what i wanted to talk about next is that uh since the 12th house is about being scattered and it's about chaos a little bit and so is sagittarius because both of these are mutable houses and a mutable sign um and mutable signs are about uh, adaptability uh chaos being a little bit more scattered so on an emotional level people with the moon in sagittarius in the 12th house they they're more emotionally scattered and they are people that are most comfortable going with the flow when it comes to doing things that in life because the moon shows you know our emotions and what makes us comfortable so they have this need to just go with the flow or to go at their own pace because the 12th house can also you know show flow it's the ruler of the ocean and the waves and the sea because it's the ruler of pisces which is mutable water which is about you know changing waters or moving waters which is basically just waves you know things that you know change and collide with each other and sometimes they can be very calm sometimes they can be very erratic so anyway uh you know that's another metaphor for the fact that these people just are comfortable just going with the flow sometimes they can have a tendency to procrastinate they really care about freedom as well and and they um the next thing too is that they can easily get emotionally you know or like psychically or sensitively aroused or disturbed like because you know pisces of or the 12th house is a very sensitive place in the chart and again it's like the waters that collide or that adapts or that move so your waters get easily stirred so you easily pick up on information or you easily feel things or you easily make connections in your mind but also you feel quite sensitive especially to the opinions of other people because sagittarius is about opinions um so sometimes those things can cut deep with you and like generally speaking you're just sensitive to other people's perspectives too um because sagittarius is about being able to appeal to others mind it's about learning and teaching so it shows a talent for teaching when you have the moon here in the 12th house and especially being able to perceive the imagination of others 
and being able to make them perceive your point of view through communication in some sense because Sagittarius is ruled by Jupiter which is one of the planets of communication um, but generally speaking like to really summarize what I just said in the past few sentences it really just also shows somebody that you know sensitive to other people's opinions and to other people's perspectives of things they can naturally just envision how people perceive things and how to you know communicate things in it in an effective manner or how to demonstrate you know information or knowledge or some sort of creative idea as well because it's what talks about creativity so this placement shows somebody with a creative mind and a creative philosoph philosophical mind their mind is not boxed in at all like their beliefs are really just open like their beliefs are that there are no necessary necessary limits so it's, it's very interesting um to hear their philosophy and to get their input because it's it's very eye-opening creative or spiritual um and with both placements of your moon being ruled by jupiter it really shows to me that you are somebody that's wise and really spiritually connected even if you're not trying like even if you don't want to be like you're gonna really feel a lot of things from the universe or get like a lot of random realizations at from time to time and you're going to be very knowledgeable anyway um so despite the fact that they're more emotionally scattered and comfortable going with the flow they also have um have a tendency or like th they also attempt to organize their experiences their perception or their emotions but more from like a philosophical standpoint, because the moon in Sagittarius shows somebody that tries to organize, you know, their experiences and make sense of them. So on one side or one end, you are quite emotionally scattered. But on the other end, you tend to try to make sense of the chaos. So it's like you have both sides of that uh, of that coin, like you're scattered. But at the same time, you like try to make sense of like the chaos of life. You make try to make sense of all things and like all your experiences. So it really does show a very philosophical person when the moon is here in Sagittarius in the 12th house. Um, and to really summarize this placement, this these are people that like the concept of all possibilities. They, they like the possibility to expand and they like to consider a philosophy that opens their mind because they understand that that is true knowledge and that's that's true wisdom is, you know, learning things that that open more possibilities rather than learning things that close your mind so um you know these are very expansively oriented people they like to expand outwards the 12th house is kind of like space or it's kind of like the ocean is very expansive um and this is often from a inspiration standpoint or from like an ambition standpoint because the natural sign that has the 12th house in sagittarius is capricorn it's all about ambitions so this is like a capricorn placement on a subconscious level so, um, you know, these people can be inspired or ambitious in a certain sense, especially if they have the Ascendant in Capricorn and they like to consider, you know, creative ideas and like possibilities to expand their business or their success or to do, you know, meaningful things in the world. So that really summarizes this placement. Um, and so I hope that this was insightful. If I had to summarize it in one placement, you know, in one sentence, I mean, this placement shows somebody that's highly spiritual and open-minded. Um, and they're really good at making others see their perception of things or understanding, you know, how people perceive things and how to communicate to them in philosophical ways. You know, they're very wise. Um, so I hope that this was insightful and that it resonated. If you did enjoy this video and uh, you saw yourself in any way through this, or you learned something about others or yourself, then don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more content. With that being said, if you would like a personalized natal chart reading where I break down each of your placements in a private video format um, that only gets sent to you, um, then check the link in my description to my Patreon. I also have an email in my description if you'd like to contact me that way. And... Um, if you'd like to book a reading. So with that being said, I appreciate you guys watching and supporting in any way that you do. And I will talk to you guys sometime soon in another video. Peace.